Hey guys, it's Herbivore Beauty. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm finally here for another lock update. Um, it's been way over three months, but I definitely forgot completely. I wish I had a good excuse for you guys, but I just um, completely missed my mark of like my third month. So I'm here to update you guys on my locks, but before I do that, I want to thank you all for um, getting me to over a thousand subscribers. You guys are amazing. So thank you to all my new subscribers and my old subscribers. Um, if you haven't already seen any of my previous locked updates, I suggest that you go watch those first so you can sort of see like how I started and stuff. But um, if you don't want to do that, I'm actually doing a starter locks tag today. So. Um, to update you guys on my 3.5 months and also um, to all of my other subscribers I wanted to direct you guys to my website it's herbivorebeauty.com and you can see all of the stuff that I sort of talk about on there it's all vegan related to like events and weddings and all of that fun stuff so go check it out it's either up here or down in my description bar below and yeah let's get on with this video so uh, basically I have been semi free forming for the last three and a half months ish um, I've only had like one sort of retwist and it wasn't really a full one I kind of did it myself so um, I just wanted to see if I would be able to retwist it on, um, on my own to begin with um, just to see how it would be um, sort of like maintenance wise throughout my entire journey and um, it was pretty easy, like it wasn't hard to do, it was just that I just wanted to start freeforming and since I already started my locks, um, I wanted to just continue the rest of my journey without like really manipulating it and um, right now I just have my locks like back out of my face just because I woke up and they were like super wild which I know I'm gonna have to get used to with semi freeforming and I definitely have. Um, and I just wanted something that was really low manipulation for when I go um, like traveling and stuff. I didn't want to have to worry about getting my hair retwisted before and after and stuff like that. So anyways, the updates you guys can probably see. I'll move in a little bit closer. But um, basically, here, let's zoom in. Um, it's been, it's definitely like completely like, it's really locked up. Um, I have like a lot of hair, like new growth here, um, and my hair is beginning to bud like everywhere. I don't know if you guys can see, I'll zoom back out. But yeah, it's definitely beginning to bud all around um, my hair. Like I haven't really, I don't put gel or anything in it. I don't put anything in my hair um, just because it. I got a lot of buildup easily. So I didn't want that to happen. Um, but anyways, I'm going to get into like the actual questions of the tag part. Um, so how many locks do I have? Um, the last time I counted, I had around 63-ish. Um, when I started, I definitely wanted to have like thicker locks um, just because I really loved the way they looked and I found it um, looked really nice when you um, freeformed thicker locks. Um, but yeah, I have around like 63 to 65 maybe. Um, I might have miscounted, but um, that was the exact or like the approximate count when I first started my locks. Um, how old are your locks? Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, they're three and a half months old. How often do you wash your locks? I wash my locks either every 10 days or every two weeks, but honestly, if I need to wash it earlier than that, I do. Like, it's not like a set schedule that I wash my locks at. Um, if my hair like feels dirty or like if I'm working out a lot that week or something like that, then I wash it sooner rather than later just because I'd rather have like a clean head than like just waiting and waiting and waiting to wash it. Um, having said that, since it's like getting closer to winter now, um, everything's like really dry. My skin's dry, my hair is dry, so I have to definitely like moisturize it a lot more. Um, so I moisturize my hair with like either coconut oil or like some conditioner. 
Um, I use, I can't even remember what brand of conditioner I use. It's just this vegan brand that I found. And so I use that um, when I do use conditioner just to make sure that I have moisture in there. But other than that, I usually just use water or rose water, which really helps. And I can tell it the difference. And I moisturize my hair twice a day, usually when I wake up and then right before I go to bed. And um, I don't like add conditioner every single day. I usually just um, spr spritz it with water and then spritz it with some rose water. And um, I'll do that probably twice a day. How long does it take for you to retwist your hair? Um, as I mentioned before, I don't really retwist it since I'm semi-free forming it. So um, the one time that I did, it took like 45 minutes, I want to say, but it wasn't even like a full one. Like I wasn't really paying attention. I was just um, twisting the roots basically and like seeing how it would work out. Um, do I have a regular lock maintenance routine? Um, as I mentioned before, I like spritz my hair every single morning. I separate my locks every day, or at least I try to every single day. Um, and that just helps with like, just making sure that no like random strands get like attached together and like I don't want my locks to stay together. Well, I'm just getting super bright. So let's start it up a bit. A bit better? Okay, so yeah, um, that's sort of my maintenance routine and then again my washing every like 10 days to two weeks ish what are your favorite beads or other decorations I haven't started decorating my hair yet just because um, since I do like put my hair have to put my hair back for work like I don't want anything that um, that'll like interrupt my lock process sort of like I didn't want to have like anything constantly around my locks um, when I did have like twists and braids before I really liked those little like metal designed jewels that you can just like lock around your strands of hair and I also really liked like the wooden beads I think they look really awesome so when I finally do start putting like decorations onto my hair I'll probably be using like either my metal little wrap around things or those met, uh, wooden beads and which locked youtuber could you see yourself hanging with hanging out with in real life um there's this youtuber called locks of love um we used to like we grew up together um when we were really young back when i lived in mississauga and um like her locks are so beautiful i remember when she first started them and um, she's probably the one who I could see hanging out with since I did used to hang out with her and um, her locks are so beautiful if you guys haven't already checked out her channel you should it's locks of love um, if you if your locks had their own personal motto what would they be um, probably just like let it be I don't do much with my hair at all so um, if anything it would be let it be and yeah, that is the end of my starter locks tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, and make sure you also check out um, me on all of my social media sites and my website, herebeforebeauty.com. And I'm gonna be doing a couple more updates for like the holiday season, um, mostly because I have stuff related to that on my blog as well. And I wanted to incorporate some of that onto my channel. So make sure you turn on my notifications so you can stay updated with that and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!